to our leaf. It's sort of a scaffolding, but it doesn't look very refined. In this lesson, we're going to focus on cleaning up all of these lines to create an accurate contour drawing on top of the foundation that we've already drawn. We're going to use a different line quality as we refine our drawing and switch from light and sketchy to more deliberate and specific. We're going to create a clean linear drawing, also known as a contour drawing, on top of our block in. And we're going to start paying attention to the details and leaf shape to make the contour. Let's define contour. The contour is like the silhouette. If you think about a silhouette, it's the outer edge that accurately defines the inside shape, like the face in a cameo. That line is what we think of as the contour line. Getting started, I have a nice sharp pencil because I want to be able to make some clear, clean lines. This is probably where you imagined you would start drawing the leaf, with the outline. But all of the work we've done up to now is going to help us make a really accurate contour of the leaf. We're going to start in one place and work our way around. I'm going to start up here at the top of the leaf where it begins at the stem. And I'm first of all noticing from point to point, here to here. And now I'm going to look at the way the line specifically goes between those two points. I'm getting a little bit closer to my paper and I'm holding my pencil in a little bit different way because I'm not using those light sketchy lines. So I'm just going to start following the line that I'm looking at on the edge of the leaf. And I'm going from point to point first starting with a little bit disconnected line and then connecting them. Right here at the edge, there's a little place where the edge of the leaf folds over and I like that little detail because it makes it look dimensional. So I'm noticing and adding a little detail to that contour to show that it folds over there. And then I'll make the straight line right there to show that that's a little piece that's separate. Here the line goes in and sweeps over to that point right there. Then it goes back in and goes to that point. So you see I'm kind of going from point to point and then connecting the distance between them. It makes it a lot easier to break down the line segments little piece to little piece and then connect a fluid line between. Once I've done that, then I'm going to erase out the other lines by using my kneaded eraser. And the reason a kneaded eraser is great is because you can actually shape it. So I've actually kind of rolled my kneaded eraser and made it into almost like a point, a little bit like the pencil. Then I can erase very specifically right up next to the line that I want to keep. See how tightly I can get my loose lines out. And I'm kind of pressed it again and erasing on that side of the contour. So that's actually how we're going to refine the contour of this whole thing is by going around each little line segment, drawing a clean contour, and then erasing out the other lines that we don't need anymore. And let's keep going. So from point to point, the sharp point at the end of that thing, and then the round curve on the inside. And look, I find it easier to kind of do first the point, then the inner curve, and then connect the distance between them. And let's keep going around here now, thinking about making a little bit more detail from here, finding this point and this point, then finding that sweep on the inside. and then connecting this. And once I've put those lines in, 
I'm going to erase out the loose blocking lines that helped me figure out where to put all of these contours. Now, as I'm working my way around the leaf, following the roadmap of my block in, there's a couple things that I'm looking carefully for and I want to point out. For one thing, there's irregularity to the lengths in the contour line. So, for example, from this point here to this little notch here and this notch here and then going in, all of those distances are a little bit different. This one's a little longer, this one's a little shorter, and I want to watch carefully for that because we have a tendency to make those distances even, and that makes it look less organic and less natural. So that's one thing that I'm looking for. Again, just kind of going point to point and observing, looking with my eyes following the edge and the leaf and then trying to make that same shape with my pencil. So that's one tip for making it look naturalistic. Another thing that I'm observing carefully is that I'm trying to notice where there's places where the curve is convex and where it's concave. In other words, if a line is convex, it has sort of a fullness to the round curve. And when it's concave, it's curving in. So I'm using my observation of places where it's convex, like up here, to concave right here, and just noticing those things, and that's helping me make my line accurate. So right here, I'm seeing that there's kind of a fullness to the leaf right there, where it's kind of convex. But then right next to it, there's this little place where it kind of scoops out a little bit, a little more concave. And when I note those carefully, it makes the drawing look more accurate and detailed. Going down this section, it's kind of straight right there. And again, there's these two points. It's easier for me to find the points and then connect them. So point and then concave right there. A little notch concave. Here it's convex, full, and almost another little full bump right there. And then comes down to that point. And whenever I note those little variations, you know, here it's full, here it curves in, here it goes out, it gives the whole uh, leaf a lot of organic um, detail and really makes it look more naturalistic. So then finally getting down to the point there. Now one other thing I want to um, point out is what if you feel like you've kind of made your contour in a little bit the wrong place and you're making this darker line. It's okay, you can still correct it and let me show you how I might do that. Um, so here I'm noticing that I've made this lobe of the leaf kind of narrow. I want to make it a little wider, and look, I kind of noticed that as I was making that detail, I, I went off the map for my little block in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my kneaded eraser, pull it out, lighten it back up. Actually, I think I'm going to, the white eraser erases more cleanly than the kneaded eraser. So I'm going to take it all the way out. And now I'll just first kind of go point to point, almost redoing that first block in, showing, making marks for where I want to make my correction. And then once I've done that, then I'll redraw the contour. Something a little bit more like that. I 
So it's always possible to correct your drawing. And now I'll just use my kneaded eraser because I need to kind of make a fine erasure and pull out that other line. Okay, now I'm going to keep going around the other side of my leaf. Now I'm going to start up again at the top of the leaf on this side to finish it here. It's a lot easier for my hand to come down this direction rather than drawing up this way. So whenever I can, I'm going to um, do what's most comfortable for my arm and hand. So I'll start back up at the top, again going from point to point looking for convex and concave. This one's a pretty simple line segment, like that. Here, it's kind of a little flatter, so a little variety. It's not a sharp point, it's a little flat. A little concave rounding. Oh, there's another little sort of line segment. Noticing the difference, so it's kind of a small one then a longer one comes to a point and it dips back in and comes back out to a point. So paying careful attention to the change in distances. Going back here, now I'm getting to that little place in the detail where there's the torn little section of the leaf. Now, the thing I want to be careful about here is that I want to make sure that later when I've like maybe adding some details to the inside of the leaf that the veins are all in the right place, even though mostly I've just been looking at the outside silhouette. So right here, I'm just going to look carefully at how that vein connects here. And so I'm actually starting my contour with this inside edge because so that I make sure it connects right. Then I'm um, making that little rectangle shape here and here. So I'm kind of always starting on whatever is the easiest part to draw and then work my way to the little details that are harder. So what's harder is this way this it's sort of torn right there and the notch goes up. So I'm going to make this part of the contour, and then I'll just connect the little sections that are more detailed and complex. And same here, there's kind of just like interesting little tear right there. So I always kind of start with the bigger, simpler things that I feel I can find easily and then add the little details that are harder. Here, I'm going to look again carefully where is this point and this point. Ooh, I want to add here, I feel like I didn't quite get it convex enough, not quite full enough in that section. So I'm going to redraw here, making that correction, and then using my kneaded eraser to erase out the other line. and making that little sweep between the two points. Here, again, finding this point, noticing the distance, thinking about how close it is from here to here and how far it is from here to here. Then adding the length between. Here, looking carefully to see how big that curve inside there is. Looking for the line segments here. So you see I'm kind of mapping out where I'm going to put the contour and looking first kind of with my eyes, following around, observing carefully this line I'm going to draw. And then once I feel like I've studied it, then trying to draw it in as accurately as I can. Straight. 
So a little line like that has a lot of little variations, right? It has this little segment right here, which kind of curves in, has this little convexity right here, almost a little concave part right there, and then kind of connecting to this sweep up there. So whenever I kind of like look carefully for each of those line segments and notice how it changes in each of those places, then I feel like I can make a really detailed and accurate uh, line. Almost done. One more sort of little notch right there. And then finally reconnecting back up to the other one here. Having, again, a little change of direction, having the inner curve, outer curve. And then down at the very bottom of the leaf, there isn't actually just one point. It's almost like there's little three little tiny points finishing up the contour at the bottom. So now that I've gone around the outline of the leaf, I want to go back up and finish the contour on the stem and the nail and the branch before we move on to the next part of the drawing. The stem, simple. It's really just two really skinny straight lines coming down. The nail, round circle. The branch up here is where I need to pay a little bit more attention because the branch actually has sort of a little bit of thickness right here. And again, I'm going to try and um, look carefully for the places where the, there's a change of direction. So there's a segment of the branch that's kind of longer, a little straighter right here, a little thicker right here, and then a change of direction where it goes from there down. And you see, I'm making it kind of light and straight right now. I didn't block this in very carefully. So first, I'm just looking. I'm not adding those little notches. And I think I'm going to save those for a little bit later. So really, I'm just showing the thickness and direction of that stem. And then over here, where there's that little twig that sticks up, Again, kind of two simple little lines, pretty parallel. And now I feel like I've got most of the lines of this leaf on my drawing, and I'm ready to start developing some of the shading for my picture. So now you've seen how simple and easy the contour can be when you start with a really good block in that matches.